Hello ladies and gents, I am the Reb, and welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we left off, we were at the train, we need to come over here and meet Anna on top of the train, on top of the crane, so that we can attack the trader's barges. So we're back uh, where we were, I think, in the second video. You Yo, what's up, girl? I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well for the future. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest, Crest says such caravans, such caravans are usually, are usually commanded, commanded by, a by a captain. So if we capture, so if we capture him, him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. At the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for point entry. And one hidden tool. By the way, there's only one guard in the hole in here. Yeah. It's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Kress take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. Stay in the shadow. Hmm. So, does that mean I just go for it? Just the market. The city is, you know, gone. But the piers are still there. So once the river got cleaner, I think there's someone above us. See, up there. Hey, you. Red alert! Enemy! Oops. Up there, people! <laughs> you bastard! Open fire! He's been spotted! We got a man down! Man down! Okay, you had your shot, I had mine. He was up there. Enemy oh, there's more down here, okay. Why would I be getting down? I think just about everybody's gone now. Merchants. You both deserve medals. 
Oops. Yeah, it would have been nice to take them alive. It's okay. The barges are clear. Time to capture the tugboat bridge. Okay, I'm not real sure what you're how you're else you're supposed to go at that when it uh, puts you at the top like that. But I'm sure I could have probably figured something else out. But Ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man, your stations. Way anchor. We're gonna go about halfway there, then we're gonna get into the Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, bullet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. First wins. Break a leg. Okay, so I probably got the wrong muzzle on this. Yeah, let's put our silencer on. Oh, 
saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? <sighs> Who knows? They are heretics. May the Zarfish devour them. Yeah, they only have murder on their minds for Was over there? Holy cross be my witness, I did. Oh, seems like it was nothing. Well, that's just my luck. Can't see a thing. All right, let's get closer. Uh, I'm gonna have to shoot some more. We should check the storage. Seems like there's someone. He's here, bro! <laughs> I'm really trying not to kill them all. Trying to shoot only the people I absolutely have to. Hmm, so some of the doors are just locked down. Okay. Keep on hiding, you heretic. It will just make catching you easier. Can you shoot it from this side? Yes, you can. Satan. Lord, protect me from servants of Satan. He yes. should have a heretic! Punish that heretic soon. Punish him for his insolence. Punish him justly. Come out, you minion of Satan! Take this! See that scum? The filthy dogs they killed, killed him. him, brothers! Might have a rough go over here if I got to keep shooting everybody. But you know, what are you supposed to do? Because it did say in the game that um, Your choices will dictate the end. So I assume if I keep smoking everybody, it'll come back and bite us in the butt. Well, we'll find out, I guess. I'm a 
ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived, for the faithful reside here, and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silentia. And so speaketh the Lord, I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology, we, we reject! reject. <laughs> and even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? Okay, so we may have passed there. That is really annoying, whatever that sound is. How are you supposed to make it through all these dudes? Oh no. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie. That the war is still going on. Here it's... Electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. A 
Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. So you just gonna take my chair? I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Leaving already? Yep. Well, go get them, tiger. Okay, her voice sounds fine, but if you look at her face, well, she's keeps sick. Telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also holding well. But I I just unraveled. Of course, Uncle Joe, Uncle I Joe, Uncle Docker has already set his shop up. He wasn't looking for death. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Duke's plate carrier. Didn't hold the back plate anymore. Oh, a smoke break. That's good. just kept joking about it. Oh, that must be the rear of the car. What was that? Well, I'll be working here from now on. Oh, we got some guns hanging here now. Okay. Oh, geez, so now everybody's got their own little hidey hole. Okay. Well, guys, to Duke's memory. Hey, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Look, stop with this funeral mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how he came back from the library? Same thing here. Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. Thanks. Well, that is true. Don't be shy. So, Sam ends his speech, and then Duke asks, Where's my drink? <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I say we should wait. He came back from that library. And this, this is nothing. We will pick him up on our way back. If we leave to go back. No, oh, come on. Yeah, he pulled everything out of here, so... Okay. That'd be our, uh, weapons guy. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Toker. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mjolnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A moment. Oh, yes, Major. 
I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelico? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Mitchell, and I hope that you will tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, uh, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I will send our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. Nope, that's shady. This is a great honor. Thank you. Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. Oh, boy. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited my hands are still shaking. The minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. No, okay. won't be It's not either. even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You are saying, it's all about the results. Yes. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abundant, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Go back, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and put them up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. 
Wait for Orkium and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, you're mm. almost there. This is a bad place. Now we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait, look. look. Guy scared his arm shaking. Why is it so deserted here? No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. Oh no, it's gonna be like just two or three guys. That's what will end the video. You know, I'm going to try and be a little more uh, stealthy in the future, I guess. I don't know. Well, if push comes to shove, you'll have to pretend to be a mute hero.
I'm just curious if the devs are going to try and stop you from... Yeah, they don't want you going back that way. Okay, cool. Alrighty, folks. Keep your heads down. I don't want to shoot my gun in here. Your gun's up. And I'll see. I and my band of crazy Russian friends here will see you again real damn soon. Come on in, Artyom.